It's a university gym, but not as we know it. Dystopian, deserted. It's Warwick, but it could be any UK campus this week. My name's Zach Nathan, and I'm a first year undergraduate student at the University of Warwick. My name's Joe Shaw. I'm an undergraduate student at the University of Warwick. Joe and Zach out leafleting, part of the student rent strike at Warwick, and why? Because many students across the country are being told not to come back because of lockdown and courses going online, but still pay for flats they're shut out from. You've got students paying extortionate prices for the teaching they're getting. They don't even get to go to a classroom. I mean, at the moment, we've all come back on the notion that we would have lectures and seminars in person, but I just have to sit in my room all day at the moment and isolate. Our rent strike campaign is calling for 40% reimbursement in um, accommodation fees. It's calling for no COVID job losses on campus. It's calling for all students to be able to cancel their contracts if they've been unable to use the accommodation. Um, and it's calling for no repercussions for striking students. Across the Midlands at Nottingham Trent, Erin Carr told this week she can't come back to study but must pay her full rent. I'm paying £165 a week for accommodation but I've been told that I'm not allowed to come back and I've not been at university since the 4th of December. Um, I've, I've been advised by my university that I can't return until mid-February. However, that's a review date so potentially it will be moved. Um, back still. Nottingham Trent told students there'll be no rent rebates for this or last term, but they are seeking guidance from the government. Over in Manchester, they're not having it. Students occupied an empty building last term. The rent strike here has been one of the most effective in UK student history. We decided the only way to get their attention and get them to come around to negotiate with us was to occupy the university tower. Um, so we did that for two weeks and after a two week occupation, uh, they finally gave in. They've given a 30% rent cut for students in halls. But 30%? Yeah, so that works out up to a thousand pounds for every student in university halls. And late yesterday, the university moved again, waiving completely on-campus rents during the lockdown. Back to Warwick and news for the student strikers in the past 24 hours. The university now says it's also waiving rents for on-campus students staying at home until at least mid-February. It shows that our kind of rent strike can be effective and the movement we've got going can have some leeway, but it's obviously not what we want. Um, I think it's really important to remember the rent strike isn't just about rent, um, it's about having a dramatically worse experience at university. And because of that wider issue, the Warwick rent strike goes on and they're not the only campus. Several other English and Scottish universities have offered rebates, but no official from either Warwick, Manchester, Nottingham, Trent would be interviewed, and nor would anyone from the two bodies representing all our universities. No question, universities like everyone face huge COVID challenges, but students are still being forced to pay for a university experience, which is nothing like what they signed up for.